I went to the UK for four years, so I developed this funny mixed accent, and it's okay because English is not my first language. But then a lot of you tend to put your accent on a pedestal, and you think it's very important to have a certain accent when it's not. The most important thing is to communicate well in English and to be able to to have access to the culture and be able to just use it in your everyday life to achieve other things, further things. And that's the most important thing. And this is also the thing about IELTS. It is only a certificate. It's not, it doesn't sort your life out. Like, sure, it, it gets you into university and it opens up to amazing opportunities that you won't even begin to imagine. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it definitely doesn't sort your life out. Like it's only, understand that it's only the beginning. Yes, it is a great achievement in your life to have a great result, but it doesn't end there, right? Now, now that we understand what it is, it is a language. Let's get you to how to speak it well, to communicate in it well, and to understand it well. English is no different than Vietnamese. It's literally the same because it's also a language. You didn't learn Vietnamese in a book first. You listen to your mom and you listen to your neighbors and you hang out with your friends and then you, you, you basically you, you spoke what you heard. And English is, is the same. You have to listen to it to speak it. It sounds simple and I try to break it down to a lot of you, but but then you ask me, well, but then how, I, like, how, you, how do you really practice for IELTS speaking tests? The, I don't know, that's, that's, that's how I did. I, I, I listened to a lot of English and then I spoke English the way I, I heard it. And that was it. And that took me years and years and years. And I never sort of dedicated myself to sit down and to, to speak to the wall for three hours a day. It's not the way, it's not the way it works. The way it works is that you listen and then you repeat and then you do that again every day and you make it work for you and that's how you get a good results in, in IELTS English test. The way to, it, sound, it sounds obvious in order to get a high results in IELTS speaking test you need to speak good English and then in order to speak good English you need to listen to a lot of it. It sounds obvious but here's the problem. Listen where? A lot of people ask me this, and th there is a very big problem with this question. Let me explain. The, the problem is, even if I tell you where to listen, like this, there is this app, this website, this, this CD. Nobody uses CD anymore, but just for example. Even if I tell you where and what to listen to, you will be too lazy to listen to it anyways. Because if you ask me where to listen to English at the first place, you are already too lazy to, to search for it. Because the topics I like are not going to be the topics that you like. It applies to everybody. And you need to, you need to search for it. The, the whole, literally the whole English, like the whole, English community on the internet is speaking to you. It, it's only a Google search away from what you can listen to all day, every day. And everybody knows that. Everybody knows that there's Google and then you can search things. And if you want to listen about cars, you can search for cars. And you, you want beauty, you can search for beauty and, and so on, right? Everybody knows. But the problem is you don't want that. You don't want me to, to tell you to do a Google search. You want the quick fix. You want me to tell you. So there is this app. If you turn on this app and listen to it for one hour a day, every day, the best would be at 6 p.m., for example. Listen to it from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every day. After two months, you get 7.0 IELTS, and that's the destination. There is no such thing. I know that people have told you otherwise. I, I know that people told you that there are ways, methods to do it quick. Tiếng Anh thần tốc. 
There is no, there's no English way to, to translate this. But you know what I mean. But I'm, I'm here to tell you there is no such thing. And the reason why I can tell you this today is because I'm not selling you English courses. I'm not selling you fast, effective English courses. I'm here to tell you today that if it was good, it should be hard. It should take long. You want to walk into a place and stand out because of your excellent English skills, but you don't want to work for it long enough and you are not willing to work for it harder than anybody else in that same room. Well, it's not going to happen because if it was easy, then everybody would be able to do it. But the fact is, it's, it's not. And it doesn't have to be that horrible, right? It can be literally anything that you like. I sucked at school. I didn't, I didn't like schoolwork. I didn't like sitting down to my, with my English exercises, doing these hundred exercises, and then I'll get somewhere in life. I didn't like, I didn't, didn't do that. But what I did was that I, uh, I was kind of socially awkward at school. I didn't communicate very well. And so I, uh, I went home and then I turned on YouTube and then these YouTubers were my friends, these, these early YouTubers. And then I went on these creepy chat rooms, right? Now that I know that they are creepy, a little bit. But then back in the days, we had these Yahoo chat rooms where you go into and then you talk to random people in English, right? And then that, that was the way that I did it. I didn't learn it. I didn't dedicate myself to just consume a whole book. But that, that was the way that I did it. And it was fun. And it was, it was almost my escapism because, because I had difficulty at school. And so I went home and then I, uh, I just kind of, I, I found English friends on the internet that I didn't know who they were, but they spoke English to me. It was so simple. And when I try to tell you that it is that simple, you don't want to accept it. And I don't get it. You keep asking me, w w what's the secret though? There is no secret. I'm telling you, like, I'm sharing it all to you right now. That's the way, that's the way to do it. I really want to dedicate my time here to do Q&A with you. Most of what, because that's everything I have and I already shared with you and, and I already, said this on the internet, so if you watch me at some point, you might, have, you might have heard it. So I don't want to repeat the same thing. Just want to hope that you really find the fun in it. It should be fun. It, it's hard, but it should be fun and it shouldn't be torturing you every day. It should be fun. You would have access to the culture. You would be able to communicate with people that you've never gotten to know. And it's interesting. It's, it's, it's fun. If you love the culture, you would love the language. Same way you live in Vietnam and then you get to know all about this country and then you speak this language very well. But it's the same way because you talk to Vietnamese people every day, you read Vietnamese newspaper every day. That's the way it is. And I hope that you really find the fun in it. Before we start the Q&A, let's get a little bit technical. So how exactly to um, practice IELTS speaking test? There are two sources that you can find information. Note that when I studied for IELTS, it was a long time ago. So keep that in mind that I might not be very updated. But two organizations that are hosting the IELTS in Vietnam right now are British Council and IDP. So you can go on their website, you can go to the resources, you can download all the PDFs and documents and they have, they have all sources to support you there. Just go on there, get what you want, get what you need, study for it, read the tips, read the drill. If you can go to classes, it would be very good because the teachers will help you out. They will listen to you and they will read your exercises and then you will point, they will point out where you need to improve and that's faster, but you can do it at home and you can find your own resources of studying. I would like to take very much to take questions of you guys. So thank you for listening.